All right? Yeah, over the moon. At least no one died, thanks to Eric. Yeah, yeah, he's a good man. Don't like your boss. Don't work for him anymore. Council are coming later. Had to make the place safe. That's a good sign. Well, if we can trust them to do something right for once. Yes? What do you want? Just checking you're OK after last night. Uh, I didn't really do anything. What are you up to? That's, um, that's not important. You've had a tough time recently. What with everyone thinking you're doing the dirty on your neighbours. Now's your chance to be the hero for a change. Why, though? Eric, honestly, just, uh, take the credit. It's not the best. Hey, do you fancy another egg, do you? Uh, he's not getting extras, not after last night. Jeez, Dad, our house gets demolished and all you can do is have a go at me. What would I have done if you'd have got hurt? You mean everything to me. So? Kids will be kids, eh? <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't him to blame, were it? Joe Tate's gonna pay for this. You reckon he was behind it, do you? Who else could it have been? Make sure you tell police that when they question you. I didn't see him, though. Of course you didn't. He's too clever for that, isn't he? Rich folk like him reckon they can do anything. Oh, hiya. Hey, why didn't you make the party? Oh, I had to babysit our Amelia. Now I'm covering Rodney's shift. General dog's body's me. You get off all right, though. Mm, I've just dropped him at the airport with his bag of tricks. Still determined to woo them with his magic. <laughs> <laughs> Glad someone's got something to laugh about. Sam, we're really sorry about what happened. I'm as shocked as you are. Not what Debbie reckons. Why, what does she think? That he were his mate that did it. Joe Tate is hardly my mate. Well, you work for him, don't you? And someone must have ordered that diggy. He had nothing to do with your house being knocked down, did you? Of course not. Yeah, well, it's not me you got convinced, is it? Police are investigating. They'll soon find out who did what. Ah, oh, he gone up. Uh, no, I had breakfast at Lachlan and B&B. Now you tell me. Why couldn't Grandad and Lisa stay at the B&B? Because she kindly offered them to stay here. And how come I'd sleep on the sofa and not him? Did you nearly get murdered last night? Yeah, well, I wouldn't have been crying if you were. Oh. Uh, excuse me. Stop bickering, Sarah, now. You better not be going to the bathroom before me. Well, careful! Just ignore them, Uncle Zach. They just wound up. I'm sorry. Maybe me and Zach being here is a bad idea. You a family. You're going nowhere. This is down to Joe, OK? Nobody else needs to apologise for anything. Happy birthday, Uncle Zach. Oh, but this council. Yeah, we've got more important things to think about. Well, at least Noah and Samson are safe. Yeah, yeah. No thanks to you, I mean, all you had to do was keep an eye on him. I know. I'm sorry. But I was kind of looking after this place single-handed. Yeah, and at least you're big enough to apologise, unlike some. Has anyone spoken to Tate yet? No, what's the point? The psycho who does what he wants. He even put his own brother in danger, didn't he? I mean, what kind of scum does that? PC Pierce. Oh, sorry, I'm uh, interrupting your breakfast. Oh, never mind that. No. Our house has been destroyed by Jote, and he nearly killed two of our kids in the process. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> 